welcome to known as Master Video. This is a new Unreal Editing video uh, for Unreal Editor 2.0 for Duzex and of course Unreal Tournament. So what we're going to do in this video is add a screenshot to our map. So we're going to open up our Unreal Editor. All right. Pick your map. Open this map up. And then click on play the map. I'm going to do this a little different. I'm going to use Fraps to do the in game part to explain uh, what you gotta do when you're in game. The video caption hotkey, I'm gonna adjust that to F4. That's important. Yes. This is a new version of Fraps. So I'm gonna cut this video up so I can make a screenshot in game. Right? Alright, so now we're in game. We're gonna select our map. In this case, my map is CDN Mine. What we do is go to the preferences, go to HUD, show HUD, and uncheck that, uncheck show HUD. Um, what I also want to do is um, if I can remember it correctly. Yeah, put all the sliders to the left, so you have black to the crosshair. Or you can go to the Hidden for your weapon. I close this up. Go to bots. Make sure there are no bots. Start your map. to our Unreal Tournament folder, then system, there should be a file here called shot and then 4 O's or if you already took more of them, well any, yeah. anyway, just click it and open it up with your favorite program. Well I recommend uh, Adobe Photoshop, I'm running CS4 version here. Uh, this is because of fraps. Don't really mind that. Because if I, you, you're not recording with fraps while you are taking the screenshot, so you don't have this. So never mind. So now you're here in Photoshop. Go to uh, Image. I go to Canvas Size. Oh, sorry, that's in the older versions. Still have to get, get used to. Uh, image size, and we want 256 by 256 pixels. Change skill. Constrain propor proportions, we don't want that, so uncheck that. 256 by 256 pixels. And click OK. So now it's resized. What we're going to do now is save the file as. We're going to click PCX format. This is very important. We want PCX. Because that's the only type um, the Unreal Engine uh, recognizes. So go to textures and save it there or wherever you want it. Can now minimize that. 
So now go back into your Unreal Editor. Go to your Textures browser. Go to File and Import. Here it is. Our screenshot. Here for the package we're going to type in my level. By level, the first letter has to be capitalized. Group, name it what you want. I don't, uh, I don't need a group here because I haven't got any other custom textures for this map. Or I'm going to name it screenshot. Next thing, next thing we're going to do is generate map maps. Going to uncheck that because we don't need it. Now it's importing the texture, and for some reason it looks knackered on my. Uh, I think I had. It in, in software mode on 16 bit format. That kind of screws up the image sometimes. Everything seems to fail with, uh, on me today. So then you go to your level properties, go to screen, screenshot. After you've selected, you clicked on it, then use. And then uh, what I always do is. Alright, we're gonna rebuild the map. Save. I'm going to do one more in game uh, clip and you will see uh, what it looks like. This is another clip from in game. Practice session. Here. If my map abandoned mine. You know, the screenshot looks naked, but it also looked like that on the Unreal Editor. I'm gonna look what you're Yeah, here it is. Never make a screenshot in direct 3D mode on 60 bit like Um Always keep it on 32 bit for best image quality. Because uh, this, this looks fucked up. But as you can see, you, you can now see your name as well. This is my name. Players you suggested. On the level info tab. Name you gave your to your map. So, for instance, let's play this map. This is still the same map. But now, the screenshot so we can recognize which map is which. So there isn't anything anymore into adding textures uh, for Unreal Editor. The same works for any other kind of texture or image you want to add. As a texture, convert to 256 by 256 pixels, import it to V6 format, and then import it and uh, put it in your own package. So, thank you for watching.